Scott Morrison stopped you from leaving Australia for a long time. But that doesn't mean your money stayed here as well. Despite being set up to help Aussie workers, millions of dollars in JobKeeper cash winged its way to overseas billionaires. Profitable firm OPSM got 58 million from the Australian taxpayer, a good lick of which ended up in the pockets of their Italian billionaire owner, Leonardo Del Vecchio. Jewelry seller Levisa and its Monaco-based billionaire investor Brett Blundy got 23 million Aussie dollars. One of the world's three richest men, French billionaire Bernard Arnault, saw his company, Louis Vuitton, receive $6 million in JobKeeper. They went on to double their profits and produce a face mask selling for $1,350. South African billionaire Johan Rupert, whose firm owns Cartier, got $4 million in JobKeeper. And that's just to name a few. While Australian households were struggling with insecure work, stagnant wages and rising prices. The Morrison government was sending cash to offshore billionaires. And it's not like billionaires needed it. Since Scott Morrison became Prime Minister in 2018, the collective wealth of Australia's billionaires has more than doubled. JobKeeper was meant to save the jobs of battlers. But under the Morrison government, it ended up lining the pockets of offshore billionaires. Does that sound fair to you? Join us in the fight against inequality. Authorised by Andrew Lee, ALP, Gungahlin Place, Gungahlin.